Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are continuing on with our Mario and Luigi Partners in Time Let's Play. We have made it to the fire dungeon of this game and I don't really know what to expect here, but there are three pipes that we do not have access to. Not quite sure how these pipes... Oh wait, yeah, nope, we do not have access. I'm not sure how those pipes factor into this later on, but uh, we cannot go left, so we will head on to the right. Oh man, how do we do this? Is this a baby section? This is a baby section, right? Has a spark gone out to your baby spinning? Yep. Okay, this is where we're going to launch the babies. Babies, be gone! Very nice. Definitely gives them the boost to get across this and collect all the monies because we've got a lot of stuff we're going to buy this game. A lot of loot, a lot of armor, a lot of fun things to make us even more OP. And I got to say, at this point in the game, I feel like we're pretty OP as it is. The last boss fight we did, I feel like I kind of dragged it on, but that was because I was having too much fun trying all the different items out that we picked up. If I wasn't playing around, I feel like I could have beat the last boss in a couple of churns, to be honest. I'm gonna leave the babies there. Can I, can I, I'm gonna leave the babies there. Can I actually use this for, for the big bros? Oh no. Can the big bros make it across? No, they cannot. I need to stop making them <laughs> sit on the uh, spikes. It's not a good thing. Yeah, there's, there's a couple right here. Let, let's, let's reunite the gang. Oh, right here. Reunited. Reunited, and it feels so good. Gotta collect. Ooh, seven coffee flowers. That's busted. And new enemy. Let's go. I really wish Mario had jumped on him because that would have made this fight, wait, easier? Oh man, 28 damage. That's so much. These are definitely some tanky boys. They've got some really high defense. You know, our, our attack power is boosted up so high and it took like, we only did like 10 damage in total. So these are some tanky boys with low health. So insane defense, low HP, then that's the fight. Okay. I gotta say this game has been really fun. Uh, I really am liking the fact that we have the babies with us. I like I like the whole like use them to do different uh, you know bro actions. It's it's overall a very fun experience. You know I, I like how they even are a part of the the uh, bro standard attacks as well. And I like how when the big bro dies, the little bro takes over. It adds like another element of difficulty because. It, Essentially, it makes it a... Uh, oh no, what, what is down here? A thwomp. Okay, baby's time to shine. Dang, dude, these are some strong-ass babies. They transformed into a super thwomp! I'm impressed. A thwack totem. Oh man, this is scary. This thing is so strong. Another turn? Are we that fast? Oh boy, where are they going? Dang, that was, that was a cool attack. I love this robot. Or I should say this thwack bot. But yeah, overall, I've been really enjoying this game. I think it, it's really funny. I think the combat is nice. I think that it's really interesting to use uh, the bro items. Because I know in like Superstar Saga, you really only had like... Uh, six different bro moves. I mean, and it was really just Mario and Luigi had three bro moves that they could use. You know, it was their standard jump attack, hammer attack, and then they had the hand power. But in this one, you actually have a, a wide assortment of attacking items that really make boss fights uh, potentially very unique and different from each other. You know, in a, when I was playing through uh, Superstar Saga, all I really ended up doing was using um, Mario's hammer attack to dish out a ton of damage to every boss. Or I would just regularly use Luigi's splash jump attack to deal out a, dish, a ton of damage. But So it made boss fights uh, a little bit repetitive. I mean, that's not to say it wasn't fun, but it just it would get a little repetitive because you didn't have a lot of moves to use. So I really like how this game kind of pushes the boundaries and says, you know what, we're going to ditch bro combos and we're going to have you use these wacky items that have tons of different effects. 
I'm not gonna get squashed, am I? Oh, let me actually switch the screen so you could see that. Yeah, I'm not about to get smashed right here, am I? Am I? Okay, I think it's safe. Oh, is this, is this a reference to Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door? I don't know if it's in Paper Mario 64, but I know in The Thousand Year Door, there's a thwomp who hosts a game show. Is this a reference to that? Thwa? Oh, welcome. This is Thwomp Bros Mini Game Arcade. Thwa? Oh, what you mean? You think I alone? Thwong, little brother. Just look up ahead. Hmm. You keep going? You adrift. You play one game, then you move on. This is your first game, so you play for free. Three. Okay. These rules. You see cannon? Put ball in there. Any ball, okay. When ball is inside, hit switch on right. Okay, so we put the, we put the bro ball into the cannon. Switch back to the little bros, and fire! Oh boy, let me switch to the other screen real quick. Ball fly way up. You roll it around. Collect all the Chaos Emeralds. We collect all the gems. More gems mean more better for you. If you get gems, steer into hole. Oh boy. Alright, let's see how many gems we could get. I feel like I'm gonna get most of them. Oh no! Oh no, I'm falling! I don't know, it's like Planko! Okay, I missed at least, uh, two gems. I feel like you're not supposed to get them all, though. Let me actually switch to the little bro screen again really quickly. Yeah, yeah. so I feel like you're not supposed to get them all, right? You have to at least miss one. Ooh, five gems, five spins. All right, let me just uh, get something good. I want the star. Oh, oh, it doesn't stop right away. It takes like at least a good quarter second to stop. Nice. And one more. Yes, I got all three. Hell yeah. Thwack pod. Three mushrooms make 20 coins. Ooh, that's pretty busted. Let's do it. I wonder what the star gives us. Let's find out. Oh, it got faster. Oh boy. I got this though. Pro game remote on. Hell yeah. Three, one bean? Oh, that's really cool. This is a good spot probably to farm beans for Fawful. I want the bean. Ah, uh, but for, you know, for the video and education purposes, I think I'll show off what we get with the flower. Uh, oh no, I messed up. Damn. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so for video and education purposes, let me show off what we get for this flower. There we go. No again? Are you kidding me? Why is the flower better be worth it for, for video and education purposes? Let me show off what happens when you get the flower. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. 50 coins. Oh, this is a really cool spot to farm money and beans. Oh my god, 100 coins? Oh wow. Uh, so I guess it's kind of worth it. Um, I mean, essentially you could potentially make, uh, what? 250 coins, so net 150 per coins if you hit all the flowers. Or you could potentially get like at least five beans. So I'm gonna keep this in mind. And if I want to farm beans or money, this is definitely a good spot to come back to. So let me make a mental note of this, this spot. Also switch the screen back. Ah, it's actually a really busted spot. If, you, if you're really good at hitting like flowers and stars, that is. More items. Yes, super mushrooms. I need those. And I need these beans. I need all the beans. I gotta, I gotta uh, clear out Fawful's inventory. 
How many beans do I have, by the way? I feel like I have a lot. Do I have a lot? 24. That is not a lot, but it's not a little bit. Kind of in between. Oh, a fire shroom. Can I jump on you? Oh, no. That does not sound good. Nope, I cannot jump on him. I can't jump on you, but I can smoosh you. Take that. Oh, what? How are you supposed to dodge that? Oh, what? I guess like that, right? <laughs> oh no, and baby Mario is not healed yet. I think I got a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> this guy is so tanky too. I dealt like a 96 uh, damage blow on him and he still, he still survived that. But you ain't gonna survive too. Let me take a moment also to uh, heal up the gang. <laughs> That'd probably be a smart thing to do. Good thing I got so many mushrooms. By the way, we are about 70% of the way done with this game, I want to say. I think we really only have about a couple... Okay, a couple more sections left to do. But we're definitely more than halfway done. So I am actually considering uh, what I'm going to do next for my next Let's Play for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Typically, I, I try to do an RPG. Um, that's typically what I, I like to play. I was considering doing Paper Mario. I, I recently picked up the Thousand Year Door remake, so that's definitely a game I, I want to play on the channel eventually. But I kind of want to give myself a, a break from uh, Nintendo and, and Mario games, so... I'm actually kind of leaning towards doing Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I think that would be a really fun game. And the only reason I'm going to do that before a Pokemon Let's Play is just because, I, like I said, I want a break from Nintendo. I don't want to be uh, strictly a Nintendo channel. I, I want to have like a variety of games that I, I want to play. I don't want to like pigeonhole myself into a one, uh, one video game, you know, company. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I want to do Cyber Sleuth because, yeah, you know, it's, it's a very different game and it seems like a fun game to do. It, it, it seems to be like more turn-based traditional RPG-esque uh, mechanics and stuff. So, I mean, it seems really fun. I was also considering doing Digimon uh, New World Order or something like that, the, the new Digimon World game that came out, but... I think I, I would have more fun keeping it uh, traditional because I know that with uh, Digimon uh, World, New World Order, I think that's what it's called, uh, it, it's more about like breeding and raising your Digimon and having your Digimon fight on their own and be strong based on what I've seen online. So it's not like you right, you're controlling your Digimon, you are making them strong through various training methods, but they're kind of on their own in battle. Ooh, double. So yeah, I, I I'm not I'm not against that, but it, it seems like a very different type of game than I'm used to. So I'm kind of gonna most likely focus on a uh, Digimon Cyber Sooth first, just because it, it seems to be more traditional RPG, and I think that's more in line with what I want to do. So that's probably gonna be the game I, I showcase uh, next on the channel. Uh, but I'm definitely open to suggestions. If you got another RPG that you think I, I should definitely check out, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I'll give it a look and, you know, if it's, it catches my attention, looks cool, it's something I, I might consider playing. This symbol seems very, very familiar. I would advise you all to stand over here. Well, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm going to go this way to see where this pipe takes me to. Where are we off to now? Oh, we got a connection back to the uh, up world. That's nice. But I guess we'll listen to the suitcase and we'll head on into the... And further into the fire dungeon. Swamp for a board. We go down. <laughs> I love how the, the mini map uh, moves down nicely. Of course, an elevator. I should have deduced. I wonder, do you think this is as far down as it goes? Swamp blocking block block path? Okay, that was that was tough to read. We go nowhere. 
So we may have to remove the blocks in order to de-elevate. That is looking like we got to do. So let me just do a quick save. save. I think I'll clear out this floor and then I'll end the video. I, I was recently re-watching my recent uploads and I realized that they were very short because I cut the video way too soon. Um, so, wait, what is moving? There's something. Oh, okay, that's what's moving. Okay, let's collect everything real quick. So let me just cut. <laughs> uh, let me just cut away to when I pick up everything. What's over here? Anything good? Uh, can I avoid you? Can I avoid you, please, until I get my babies back? I need my babies back. I need my babies back, babies back, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. What does the Pal Peak badge do? That sounds kind of busted. Uh, where's it at? Temporal increase. Of oh god. Oh man, that would be fun, but I don't need that. If I didn't have the uh, the badge I got from Balpo, I would definitely equip that onto Mario. Wait, what? Oh, dang it. No, I got to go all the way back. Okay, I'm back. So I wanted to see what was over here other than enemies. I definitely need the little bros here. So is there a way to bring them over here? I don't see anything. Oh, wait, maybe I just fly over there. That seems like what the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. Figured that out. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Uh, I don't think I need to fight you guys. So I'm gonna just peace out. All right, babies, get on back in there. You got some more work to do. So I, I do need to make my way actually all the way to the bottom of this. So I'll be right back. It's a slow ride on this red platform. Super slow. Good thing we have some movie editing magic to make it not look so long on the screen. Oh, a lot of money. Yeah, so we finally made it back down here. Um, before I go that way, I do want to get the babies back. I saw a warp pipe over here. So yeah, definitely bringing them back over here. And then let's go see what is over here, I guess. It looks like it's just a tunnel. Oh, can't go that way. Okay, never mind. We're not, we're not going that way. We're actually going to head on over here to this side. And I know exactly what to do right here because we have done this before. Propeller. Collect all the money because I need to buy a lot of things. But yeah, this game has been really fun so far. I like the bro attacks. Um, I like how like humor, humorous it is. It's such a funny game. All the characters in this game have been uh, pretty top notch funny. You know, even Boffle, who was kind of annoying in the. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I guess it was kind of worth it. But yeah, even Boffle was a little bit annoying in the uh, the uh, original game is pretty... No! What did I do? Oh no. Oh no. That's not good at all. Uh, we gotta take these guys out ASAP because these babies... These babies don't have a lot of health or defense. So if I take a hit, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. And, you know... Oh no, this is not shaping out to be good. I only did 50 damage at most. I don't remember how much health these guys had. I remember that they took 290, 290 damage attacks. So they have at least, I mean, they at most they have 108, 180. Oh boy, this is looking bad. This might be a game over. Oh no, no. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a game over. Yep. Yep, had a feeling. Okay, so instead of going right, we went left. Can we actually go into this pipe? Nice. We can. Okay, so we can fix this bridge. And we can go fight those scary flame shrooms with the big bros. Because, yeah, dude, it's, it's so hard to destroy them with uh, um, destroy them with just the babies because the babies do not uh, have really high defense and they really don't have any HP at all so 
it pretty much means like you saw like one or two hits i'm dead and i'm not the greatest at dodging by uh, any means so it definitely is really hard and i'm at a really big disadvantage when i, I have the babies alone <laughs> nice golden pants okay so let me actually bring the bros down there okay so i heard you were picking on my little one i heard you were picking on my younger self Let me just show you what I do to folks who pick on my younger self. It's time for Green Shell, baby. You're gonna die. Hopefully, unless I mess this up, which is also a very high possibility. Nice. Wait, so they only have 107 HP at most? Oh no, I actually am figuring out how to dodge their attacks. Now, look at that. I actually managed to dodge every single hit. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Where was that? Where was that the last time we fought these dudes? That's what I want to know. Can my uh, pro gamer self not, you know, not not be available? Can it just please be available at all times? Not just when I have the big bros with me? Okay, but now that that's out of the way, I actually should take a moment to quickly heal. Okay, everybody's all topped off with their HP. So I think we're almost done with this section. There was another warp pipe down here too that I could have used. Okay, these guys are no joke. They killed me like two times. I had to revive Mario like two times because I'm still so trash at dodging. But they're all gone now. I can cut them out so you won't see how much I did bad against them. But yeah, it's it's looking good. So now the swamp can go lower. Wait, why why would I need you when there is an a uh, pipe over here? Maybe we can just use the pipe. No, we can't. Can I launch the babies up there though? To get that beam? No. Okay, so I guess we do need to take our personal Thwomp Elevator further down into the Fire Dungeon. <laughs> more blocking blocks. Okay, so we do have some more things to do in this dungeon. So I think in the next video, we'll take care of the uh, red and blue blocks. And then we'll do the final boss fight after that. So I'm going to end things here. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.